Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mass. Today we have an interesting equation, 4 to the power x equal to 1 over x. Of course this equation is real hard because we have x in our exponent, x in our denominator, but I want to show you how to solve this one, easy one, easy, easily this equation. Take a look, if we raise both sides to the power 1 over x, we will have the next, we will have that 4 to the power x raised to the power 1 over x equal to 1 over x raised to the power 1 over x. So we just raise both sides to the power 1 over x. This step is raising both sides to the power 1 over x. What we're going to do next? Take a look. We have situation like a to the power x raised to the power b. So we can multiply this a to the power x times b. So we have situation like that. We, we need to multiply x times 1 over x. We will have on the left 4 to the power x times 1 over x equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x. And as you can see, if you multiply this one, we will have only 4, because we have 1. And we will have 4 equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x. What are we going to do next? Take a look. We have on the right same base and same exponent, because this one is the same. And on the left we have some number, but this 4 is a really good number, because we can write this 4 as 2 square, and it will be equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x. And as you can see we have same base and same exponent and right here same base and same exponent. So the one only way that this equation works is when these two equal to 1 over x and these two equal to 1 over x and moreover this is the same. So we need to write only one equation that 2 equal to 1 over x and from here x equal to 1 over 2. So 1 one half. And let's check this root. Let's check. Maybe this is incorrect. We will have 4 to the power 1 half equal to 1 over 1 over 2. So plug in this 1 half to this equation. 1 half is square root. So we will have that square root of 4 equal to this 2 goes to the denominator equal to 2, which is which is correct. So our root is, is uh, good. If you still have any question, maybe you have another method how to solve it. Write a question in the comment, write a suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.